it's very hard to know what to say about Katie Fleming. We worked together closely when I was at the United Nations as Canada's representative, and we worked very closely together when I was at UNICEF. And the thing about Katie is that she wasn't just exceptional. She was unique. She had a prodigious work capacity, which everyone who knew her will know was scary. And she had a tremendous intellectual capacity, probing, curious, lively, profound. I'm not easily intimidated by intellect uh, over the many years of life, but, uh, but I have to say unselfconsciously that I was intimidated by Katie. And she also had this great capacity to take the most complex issues and render them unto simplicity and clarity. She's a wonderful person. She was a, a lovely human being, lively and, and funny and smart and generous and a tremendous commitment to the developing world. Oh, extraordinary commitment. And to the children of the developing world that kind of mirrored the love and affection within her own family. And very often, Katie would say to me uh, that she recollected her years at St. of X. She really valued those years in the university. And of course, that brought back the, the recognition of the Cody Institute and the wonderful work the Cody Institute does. And it's so excellent that you are, that you are doing this ceremonial on the 20th anniversary of Katie's death. You know, in the 1990s, <clears throat> many of us at UNICEF often talked quietly about the fact that if any Canadian were ever to become the executive director internationally of UNICEF, it would be Katie Fleming. Alas, it was not to be. She died far too young. For those of us who knew her, we loved her dearly. For those of us who knew her, we miss her dearly. I'm so glad you're doing this for Katie.